Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. suddenly got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from self-loathing. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! But I'm thinking about it again, and... He's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. The lion that got killed second. That's the one Hyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? But Hyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but... that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Um... I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Yoko go to the music venue? So, you're saying the truth behind Yoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. summoned her. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe. She went of her own free will. I agree with that. It's just as Sonya said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. So... Exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? 
Ryoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Ryoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that... I won't lose! Are you saying my gut was wrong? This could be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? No! That's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk! I'll shut you up right now! Yoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking, and that's why the killer targeted her. Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. I can't back down! Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or the killer forced her way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking, and that's why the killer targeted her. I can't back down! <laughs> Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room and... Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her! But Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body! Her kimono is only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! That's the proof she was abducted, right? Damn it! The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! I can't back down! <laughs> Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking, and that's why the killer targeted her! But Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So 
know what if the key was in her kimono. Maybe the killer just put it there later. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. Crap! Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body. Her kimono was all... There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Damn it! The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Allow me to cut through those words! The reason Hyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Hyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I-I get it. I lost. Foil me, burn me, take off my clothes! Do whatever you want to me! Hajime, now's your chance! Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something-something. Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin! I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under! Huh. Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them! Gundam, please stop! For his sake! Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course! I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... it was an unfortunate coincidence. C coincidence When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed, so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head, and without hesitation... ...killed Hyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? Damn, we don't know the most important part. A 
Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Huh? Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be! That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange? Well, what's strange? Prove it with this. If Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah, that stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Do you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but, oh well, you should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that stepladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a bloodstain right on the left side of the stepladder. 
However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any bloodstains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Mbuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. Then there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki! All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills! Is it okay to say that? Uh, what are you two talking about? Oh, <laughs> 
Besides the step ladder, the filming location must have been different too. What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. It was filmed somewhere else. But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. This is my... We will never give up!
all coming together. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music video. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue, when it was actually from somewhere else. Then, only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Gyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. That's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. I see! The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough.
Filmed at the hospital's conference room. Huh? Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. resemble the other. Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? That must be it! What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain. But after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Oh yeah? Well... Your face looks stupid! That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... ...the same color as the music venue stage. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor match. Matching floors, matching curtains... I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. to the candle and the music venue, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, that's pretty strange. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but... The main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue were so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle with film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. Ooh. 
With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is decided. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. I see! The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. And if I examine that possibility thoroughly... Then naturally, the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? Aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? Advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up early. Only Hajime and Mikan have an alibi. It's just a coincidence! But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? <laughs> At 
that time, you said you were going to the on-call room, but you actually went to the conference room. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music video. And showed that to me. <laughs> Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Kane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean... Please, wait a second! It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? It just shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? R wrong! He it's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Nikon is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. It's fine. I've been like this for a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, I'd easily win first place with my soft reputation. Even I can't deny that. Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? Hey, Hajime! Uh, um... Hold on a minute. Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else in this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know! Actually, this is a game! Please don't say such controversial statements! Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang! That's a huge deal! Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope, and keep in mind that it's brand new. 
near the middle of the rope. It's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loopy boot you used to hang yourself is on one end of the rope, and the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. Hold on. I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Huh? Importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then... And then... I finished speaking. Huh? How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's law? That must be it! So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? That is... well... You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> you should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. You, Mikan, the ultimate nurse. Right. And you have been a great help to us so far. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right! <laughs> I, I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless! Mikan nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... 
Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not a criminal. Mikon is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikon is the killer. Hmm. Hmm, I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off, I guess. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer! <laughs> There's no way! <laughs> Really true. Stop it already! That's enough. I can't stop. I don't want to do this either. Of course, I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. Well, what the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her, but I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Cause, if there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Huh? Is that all you can say? Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done! Hey, hey, Mika. It's not fair. It's not fair. It, 
Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. I'm not the killer. I never filmed that video. Hmm. It seems she finally started arguing for us. But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you, Hajime. So I'm going to leave this to you once again. You get to decide I'm the killer! Where's your proof? Please! We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Well, do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction! Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. Mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. So how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? The only reason Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Oh. Are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? That's not it? I mean, it's impossible. You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? 
More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated, and I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! earlier.
Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. Seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Nikon, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left. Please, just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Here's everything that happened in this case. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music venue. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music venue, so I immediately headed over there. was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music video and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, 
revealing Hyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, he mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but... When they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. The reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. They made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but... Inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? Time. 